most typically, like I said, um, thefts, that kind of thing, uh, drugs, and um, oftentimes, kind of hand in hand with that, goes uh, vandalism. Uh, we see a lot of that in terms of graffiti, um, and just kind of, you know, mindless vandalism. We see a lot of vandalism and graffiti are some of the more common markings from gangs, and the most visible of that, of course, is graffiti. The city's gang task force is working to help solve the problem of gangs in Bozeman, but what are they doing to help clean up some of the tags left behind? One of the things that we have um, looked into is going to be an ordinance, a graffiti ordinance. And that ordinance will uh, offer some ways, some solutions to, uh, for mitigation purposes. How do we, once it's there, how do we get rid of it? And we're sort of modeling it on, uh, there are a couple of different ways we're looking at it, working with the legal department to come up with some, some ways to institute that ordinance and it's in the draft phase now we have a draft and we continue to work through that if you're a homeowner or a business owner and you have been hit by graffiti what can you do to clean up the mess at a reasonable cost that's one of the many questions that the task force is continuing to deal with to find solutions for those who are hit hardest by this gang activity another program that we're trying to start is uh, cooperation with between the hardware local business hardware stores in town and we're we're putting together a list of uh, kits, a list of um, items for a kit that a homeowner or business owner can pick up from, from this uh, hardware store that has everything from brushes to uh, uh, solvents and uh, gloves, safety, safety type of material, so that they can go and, and do their own cleaning and their own mitigation. Members of this gang task force say they will continue to work on finding solutions to the gang problem here in Bozeman hopefully limiting the graffiti and vandalism, benefiting most the residents of the city. Reporting in Bozeman, I'm Adam Bell for Montana's News Station.